up everybody, my name is Seth and today is a really special day as today we finally got to have Android Pie 9.0 up and running on our Samsung Galaxy Note 3 devices. And guys, this is not an Oreo based ROM which comes with Android Pie theming system. It is an original Android Pie ROM and to show you guys the proof of that, I'm going to be taking you inside of settings in the bound phone. And here guys, uh, right down below you can see that the Android version being shown is 9 and if I go ahead and multi-tab on Android version, you can see that we get this beautiful Easter egg of Android. Pie. So guys, let me show you first of all the feature which makes this ROM different from other custom ROMs out there. Of course, I'm talking about the new gestures that come along with it. So by default, they're disabled. So as you can see right here, I'm not having them enabled. So to enable them, you have to get inside of settings and from here, get inside of system. And here you have to tap on gestures and then you have to tap on swipe up on home button. And from here, you have to turn on this option. And right off of that, you will get the gestures enabled. So as you can see here, if I go ahead and swipe up from the home button uh, just like that it takes me to the task manager and if I go ahead and swipe up one more time it takes me inside of the ad guard pretty clean and guys in Android Pie know the clock sits on the left side of the status bar rather than on the right side that we used to see in older versions of Android anyways uh, we also get to see new theme inside of the notification panel so now the toggles sit inside of this white background which in my opinion looks pretty nice and Google has also added this very thick black bar above the toggles goals which in my opinion is done just to hide the ugliness of the phones that come with notch <laughs> I don't know I just think like that anyways nothing much going on inside of the notification panel uh, apart from the theming and we have also lost the quick toggles access and the only way out there to get inside of settings is to long press on any of these toggles just like that and guys we're also having always on display working absolutely fine with this from so as you can see here right up at the top we are having the clock itself and in this area we'll sit the notifications if you receive any and right down below we have the battery percentage anyways uh, another visual change that I got to notice was with the panel lock so now the line kind of fades away as you move your finger through these dots just like that a uh, very slight change yet looks really nice and guys in Android Pie we also get to see the new interface of the power menu in addition to the new functionality that's been added here which is the screenshot feature so if you go ahead and tap on that you can see that it does take the screenshot in no time and we also have a new editing tool in here so here you can apply various filters on your image you can crop your image and you can also change various settings uh, for your image as well which may include exposure settings dignity contrast and whatnot and guys just like the power menu we also get to see the volume slider getting the change not only in terms of interface but also in terms of functionality so this time you can change the media volume by just controlling this slider you can also change the volume profiles by tapping on this button and if you want to change the other volume settings you can do that so by tapping on this gear icon and changing the settings here so guys there you have it android pie 9.0 for samsung galaxy Note 3 of course i'm going to show you much of the features of this rom because i do not want to make this video pretty long uh, so yeah go ahead try out this rom yourself and i'm pretty sure you guys will fall in love with it all right so now i'm going to go ahead and show you the, how you can install this rom on your device and guys before i go ahead and show you the, how you can install this rom on your device I just want to let you know that Galaxy Note 9 ROM is already out for Samsung Galaxy Note 3 and I also made a video about that so if you want to check that out you can tap on this annotation to take a look at that. Alright guys so for installing this ROM on your device your phone should have uh, this version of Torque which is 3.2.1.1 if you want to know how to install this version or any other version of Torp on your device you can check this video of mine in which I have showed how to install Torp on any Android device out there in very simple steps. Alright so after you're done with that you have to save two files on your device one being the ROM file and second the Google app. So after you have saved the, app, the files on your device, go ahead and tap on wipe and then advanced wipe. Here select these items off of the selection swipe to wipe them up. Next up you have to move to the location where you saved your ROM files. So uh, here I'm going to be first of all flashing the ROM which is potato HLTE for N9005. So that is going to be taking uh, at least 10 minutes. So after it's done, uh, I'll be back. So guys, as you can see, the ROM has been successfully flash so now it's time to flash the google app so let me just go ahead and do that so there you go guys this was a simple and short video showing how to install android pi on samsung galaxy note 3 so after the google apps uh, are installed you can go ahead and reboot your device and you will eventually get your android pi running on samsung galaxy note 3 so yeah i hope you all enjoyed uh, i'll catch you all next time if you got any queries let me know in the comments below and see you